So um, as we talk about loudspeakers, uh, there, there are some uh, innovations that QSC uses. Um, what's, what's actually kind of drives these innovations here at QSC and what you can see from that video that uh, we actually have amplifier uh, technicians, uh, uh, you know, we do amplifier design in-house. Uh, QSC's organically grown. Uh, we're not a we're not a loudspeaker company that build it uh, that bought an amplifier company or uh, bought a DSP company. All of this all of this uh, development happens in house right there at Costa Mesa. If I have any questions about amplifiers, I'm going to go talk to Dale and how how are we going to deploy this onto our uh, loudspeaker platform? Or I can go over to our, our DSP guys and I can say, hey, what what kind of voicing? How can how can we improve tunings and so forth on a particular product? It's all in house and that. And that holistic growth that's happened at QSC actually uh, lends towards much better uh, products and much better syner synergy throughout the, the, the product line. But to talk about the innovations at QSC, Dale already touched on it uh, in his presentation about the intrinsic correction. Intrinsic correction, we have a, a, a four pi lab at QSC where we actually put the loudspeakers on, on tables and we have an array of measurement microphones and we take multiple measurements uh, uh, of these products. Uh, both, you know, for uh, frequency response, power response, up to 70 different measurements to achieve a, a spatial average or the, the overall performance of that product. And what that allows us to do is because we also build uh, signal processing devices, we can actually improve that product uh, and, and apply more filter sets than you, than you can accomplish through a, uh, a passive network. With a passive network on like a two-way box that you have a crossover and so forth, there's only so much that you can do on a passive network before it becomes very big, very expensive, and wasting a lot of energy and heat, okay? Um, but once we apply this into a digital domain, uh, we can take a very good sounding passive product uh, and, and improve upon it by applying filter sets, okay? And we call that intrinsic correction. Another innovation that uh, QSC uh, deploys uh, is DMT or what we call directivity match transition. In fact, every single loudspeaker up here, with the exception of the KLA and uh, the wide line uh, line array, uh, will utilize the DMT. Okay, uh, and what DMT is is it's uh, we've we've kind of taken a look at the conventional approach that m that most loudspeakers will do. They'll well they they'll take a uh, like a 15 inch two way for example like like we see here and they'll put a squat horn or something on there that 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 will control the high frequency but what what really happens when you when you do something like that uh, is you are having pattern control here at the high frequency while your uh, the frequ frequency response of the woofer is actually much wider now all woofers are going to be they're, they're going to start to narrow in coverage as the frequency starts to go up that's all loudspeakers are going to do that um, so as that woofer starts uh, going up in frequency the pattern starts to narrow okay and what we've done at QSC is we've actually matched the uh, the, the the waveguide or the pattern of the waveguide for as as that woofer is starting to narrow and it reaches the crossover point that's where we match the HF waveguide and makes for a much more uniform and consistent coverage across the horizontal plane. And in this case, uh, all of our DMTs are axisymmetric or conical patterns. Um, and if, if I can back up here, uh, the system integrators um, can sometimes ha have a difficulty on understanding this, this concept. They said, because we've gotten so ingrained that we want to have pattern control. I only want to put sound here. It's just, I, I need a 60 by 40 and it's just, just going to be tight in this in this area um, you only have 60 by 40 control at certain frequency levels through that waveguide okay now imagine if you will if there is a wall or a surface here and what happens is when you're trying to control that pattern um, the, the the surface as as this energy hits that surface it's actually out of tonal balance when it comes back into the room and that makes for much more inconsistent reflections coming off the surface and the the it, it's actually something that you cannot chase with the equalization much more efficient would be to have this type of approach of where any reflections hitting a surface are actually uh, more consistent with the tonal sig signature of the of the product on axis that's something that you can work with so uh just just keep that in mind when you guys start doing some of the designs you actually pick you pick the product 
uh, for the coverage pattern that it has, but keep, keep in mind that it's much better to have a, a, a coverage pattern that's very consistent throughout the horizontal plane. All right, that, that video actually uh, showed you guys uh, four uh, features uh, that, that we'd like you to, to come away with when we talk about uh, acoustic design. This is going to be something that's going to help you to also uh, uh, sell this product to your customers. Okay, um, and, and these, these four features are, oh, and by the way, that video that you were, that, that audio that you heard was coming out of the S6T. Uh, but those four pillars are uh, simple mounting options, stylish and functional aesthetics, smooth and consistent coverage angle, and robust environmental design. Those were the four key features of that video. And now we get to talk a little bit about it, a little bit more personal and, and interact. If you have questions, feel free to uh, speak up. But the first one is, is the simple mounting options. This is actually uh, an X mount. Uh, this, this product here is actually a, a, a brilliant piece of engineering. Um, as, as I said, I, I spent 17 years running up and down ladders doing install work and uh, hundreds of hours balancing a loudspeaker with my head while I'm looking for the long Allen key to, to get in there and tighten it down and only to get to the bottom of the ladder and watch the thing go because you didn't tighten it enough, right? Uh, so how many of you guys have done that, right? Okay. Well, this is a much smarter, uh, much smarter design. Um, it, it has a neural ball in here, which, which means it, it has teeth. So once you lock this down, it's locked into place. There's markings and there's uh, uh, detents on here, if you will, that, that you can say, okay, well, if, for example, if I was to install uh, these products in this room and I would look around and say, okay, my trim height's going to be 11 feet 6 inches, I can actually land this product on the wall, lag it in, set it, you know, two clicks down, tighten it down, maybe three clicks to the, to the right or so forth. I can actually land all of these in my room. My loudspeakers never left the box. Okay, and now once the painter and everybody else is out of the way and it's time for you to come in and do what you got to do, which of course they always, you're, you're the last one in to, to, to do this install work. So your time has been compressed because somebody else was late on the project. So you got to get in there and, and do a quick install. Well, all of your X mounts are landed already. Okay, and to actually install this into uh, a product, I can, uh, let me go over on this side. So imagine, if you will, I actually come up uh, to an X-mount. Uh, this is the receiver for, for the X-mount. It, it's on the product. We can actually come in as I go up the ladder. I've installed my loudspeaker. It's that quick. If I wanted to remove that product, there's a security pin here that I just depressed. I've just uninstalled my loudspeaker. It has Euroblock connectors that you can terminate before. Again, the loudspeaker never leaves the box. You're working smarter, you're working faster, and you're working safer. And as we're going to see in just a, once we're done with this, these products actually sound really good as well. So this is, uh, this is something that you guys definitely want to put into your, into your wheelhouse. Okay? So again, because this X-mount is uh, axisymmetric, or it's, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it's, it, well, it's a symmetrical X, imagine, if you will, I wanted to install that product this way. No problem. If I wanted to rotate my loudspeaker, which I'll simulate by rotating the mount, it's symmetrical. So that's a, a vertical or horizontal deployment that fast. I'm going to go ahead and pass these around. And uh, you guys take a look at this. Uh, by the way, this, this, this product actually won best to show at Infocom, so, uh, which is kind of unusual that a, that a mounting solution becomes best to show. Okay. Can you hook me back up there, Chris? So simple mounting, uh, simple mounting options. Now, on, on the larger products, we also have M M10 fittings and, and yokes, if, if you so choose to, uh, to, to fly the product or uh, land it onto a yoke. The X mount does ship with each loudspeaker. It, it comes in the, in the carton. Uh, stylish and functional aesthetic. Uh, that's something that uh, uh, we'd like to talk about, uh, about this product. We actually uh, took, took the time and listened to you guys. Uh, uh, and when I came on board at QSA, this product was actually uh, in development. And uh, they asked me a lot of questions. And, and uh, again, you know, b being a system installer and integrator for so long, 
I, I, spent, I spent hundreds of hours popping badges and logos off of grills or looking for things to, to sharpie it out because my clients didn't want to see that big orange thing on there, a big blue thing or whatever on the grill. They wanted a clean, uh, sleek look. Well, QSC, uh, we know that that's, a, that's an obstacle for you guys. So what we've done is we've actually uh, molded into the side of the product our, our, our badge, our logo, and kept, kept the look uh, very clean on this. Uh, we do call out the, uh, the colors of the product, uh, the RAL 9011 for black, RAL 9010 for white. So that's something that if you needed to match or paint, uh, you could. These products are paintable. The third thing that we talked about in, in the video was uh, the smooth, consistent coverage. Again, uh, the DMT, uh, directivity match transition. Um, as we light these up, you guys are welcome to uh, walk around and, and listen to them off axis or uh, or we could do it after uh, on a break or something, but it's, it's very important that you guys kind of get a sense of how well these products perform on and off axis. Uh, so uh, the, the S6T, any, any loudspeaker that has a T at the end of it uh, means that there's a transformer in it. There's a 70 volt transformer. Okay, so the S6T has 105 degree axisymmetric coverage. The S8T also 105 degree axisymmetric. The uh, S9T is axisymmetric at 90 degrees, and the S12 axisymmetric at 75. Oh, and uh, how many of you guys are uh, ease users? Do you, do you use any type of modeling software or tools to, to help with your design? Well, at QSC, we actually have a complete uh, library for all of our uh, uh, ease files and BIM files and CAD files all that to help you guys uh, do your design work. In fact, uh, this, this graphic here is a program called Ease Focus 2. Uh, Ease Focus 2 is a free download on the QSC website, and it includes our entire Ease library. So if you, if you download uh, Ease Focus 2 from QSC, you will automatically be downloading our entire Ease library with that. Uh, the, the fourth and the, and, and the final thing to pull away from that video that we'd like to cover with you is that uh, the product is a, has a robust environmental design. Uh, these are aluminum grills, uh, paper treated, uh, uh, treated paper uh, cones with butyl rubber surrounds. Um, the X mount is, is aluminum. Again, aluminum grill. There, it ships with a, uh, a weather boot uh, to, to cover the, uh, the connections, if you will. So this has a very uh, high uh, IP rating, and it will hold up well in, in weather conditions, especially here in, in Florida where you have a high humidity environment and you're concerned about moisture sitting on the product and, and the potential for rust. Well, uh, aluminum doesn't rust, so uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a good product. And the ABS enclosure itself also has UV, inhibit UV inhibitors in it to help it uh, maintain its, uh, it, its strength uh, as, as the product ages. Uh, speeds and feeds, uh, this is what I call the, the, the spec sheet uh, uh, portion of this. Um, I, I know you guys can't read that from, from there, so I'm just going to tell you real quick. The, uh, the ADS-6T, uh, it, the transformer tap is 60 watts, the maximum tap, uh, 60 watts. Uh, it does have an 8-ohm bypass, all of these products, so you can run 70 uh, high impedance or low impedance. Uh, the S8T is a 60-watt maximum tap. Uh, the S10T is a 100 watt maximum tap, and the ADS12 has no uh, 70 volt transformer on it. By the time we start getting into those currents, that transformer would have to be so big, uh, it's just not really practical to do uh, a 70 volt. So with that said, we are going to start to listen. This is the, the, the fun portion that we get to do, and it's all about the product. So we want to make sure that uh, you guys get a chance to hear it. And as I go through this, let me get my song list. Uh, Travis 01, that's one of my tracks. Okay. Now, when, when we, uh, as I demo this, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with the ADS-6T and move up to the ADS-8T and then the ADS-10T and finally the ADS-12. We'll go through one pass, and the reason they're, they're in this configuration is because the widest, uh, the widest coverage is actually on the outside, uh, and it narrows as, as we get uh, towards, towards the inside. Uh, so we'll go through one pass and listen to uh, the products 
uh, and then we'll go a second pass and we'll add the ADS subwoofer, which is uh, the ADS uh, the ADS 112SW is actually the same bucket as the uh, the ADS 12. Uh, we simply uh, put a, a large 12-inch uh, or a, a large excursion 12-inch uh, cone into that, and in place of the HF waveguide, we've uh, put a generous uh, uh, port uh, for, for tuning that subwoofer, and it actually performs very, very well. So uh, here we go. There's a bright. This is the ADS 6T. Golden haze. In the meadow, I peep out. There's a bright golden haze in the meadow. The cone is as high as an elephant's eye. And it looks like it's climbing no, clear up to the sky. Well, I say, oh, what a beautiful moment. Yeah. Now I'm going to transition up yes, to the ADS 18. Frequency response is going to be a little bit lower as the bucket and the enclosure gets bigger and we have a little bit more cubic volume to bring bass into the into the product. Again, now we're going to step up to the ADS 10T, the going up to a 10 inch, and again, uh, frequency response will go lower. They don't turn the heads as they see me right by, but a little brown maverick is winking her eye. She said, oh, what a beautiful moment. It just like right music. The sounds of the earth are like music. The breeze is as busy. It don't miss a tree. And a little old Now we're gonna transition up to the ADS twelve. She said, Oh, what a beautiful Guys get the idea. Now we're gonna come back to the six and I'll have the subwoofer. Everything's going There's the my six. way. <laughs> Sorry. And the subwoofer. But I got everything going my way. My way.
And that is the acoustic design series. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, they, this is uh, the intrinsic correction voicing is being used on these products, yes. And they, in fact, uh, this entire uh, downstage system is being run off of these two uh, amplifier racks. So, um, and it makes it really quick uh, and, and simple for, for your install. Um, you know, they, as you can tell, th these products sound very well. Um, that's less time that you guys have to have fiddling around out on a job site looking to uh, test and tune your speaker system. Um, it's simple, just pull up what model of a QSC product that you have and dial it in and it gets you, it gets you right there. Yeah, you, know, you might have to go, it, go back and do a little bit of EQ to try and, you know, try and control some room modes or things that might be happening in the environment that it's in. But uh, for the most part, that's it. ADS-12 has no transformer, no. We, we, uh, and the reason is, is because as you start getting into that large, larger form factor, um, 70 volt applications or 70, 100 volt, you know, you, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna soak a lot of money into a transformer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yes, everything was running with uh, low impedance. Now I have done, and I should have set it up, but I, I didn't set it up, but I have done A-B comparison between the 70 volt and low impedance applications and just A-B back and forth just to make sure that the, uh, the performance through the transformer is consistent, uh, and it, it, it truly is. Uh, we, we use very high quality transformers in here. Now of course, um, the, the, you're gonna be limited to the maximum tap setting of the transformer such as uh, 60 watts for the, for the two smaller and 100 watts for the 10. Um, and they're capable of going beyond that uh, when you run them in low impedance. But uh, the, from a performance standpoint, they sound pristine even with 70 volt. Okay. Any other questions about the, uh, the acoustic design series? So now we get to meet Big Brother, okay? This is an install product. This is the uh, Acoustic Performance Series. Uh, the Acoustic Performance Series starts with a 10-inch, 12-inch, and all the way up to a 15-inch product. Uh, the main difference here is in the, uh, obviously it's a, it's a wooden enclosure. Um, these are ABS enclosures, but these products here have a three-inch voice coil. Uh, that means that they can really get up and go in the high frequency. Um, and and the, the, the woofer section, very high power to keep up with that. Uh, with that HF motor. These are serious install products. So now we get to uh, talk a little bit more uh, personally about uh, the, four, uh, uh, the four pillars or uh, features that we would like you to come away with while considering acoustic performance. Um, feature number one, out of the box performance. These products sound outstanding, okay, by themselves. They, they, they do have a, a passive network inside. Um, you can also run these products in, in bi-amp mode if you choose to use an outboard uh, uh, crossover. Uh, they, they sound great. Um, we can, a, after we, we take a really good sounding product and once, once we can apply the intrinsic correction, we take a very good product and we make it even better because we have many more filters and things that we can apply digitally as opposed to through a passive network. So that is the out-of-the-box performance. Um, as, and as you'll see, as, as we go through the uh, listening test, it has a very consistent sonic sign signature across the line. Uh, architect friendly, uh, clean, unobtrusive. Uh, again, keeping the logos and the badges off of it. You, you install applications, they don't wanna see that. Um, we do have the rounded grills on this product, similar to uh, the K series, the KW series, uh, the ADS series here. So you can see that you can easily mix and match these products uh, in, in the same installation. So if you had an application where you needed that high energy, such as in a, a, in a bar or something, you might wanna install a pair of uh, AP uh, 5122s. But the dining room probably could get away with a, a pair of ADS 6Ts. Now they're gonna look very consistent. The voicings are very consistent, just stepping up in performance here. Again, uh, all, all of the CAD, ease, BIM files, all that's available for download. 
to make it designer friendly and installer friendly. Uh, M10 points, yoke brackets, uh, on the back we have uh, both uh, barrier strip and NL4 uh, connectors on the back. Um, and AP5122M is the multi-purpose that we have over here on the floor. That also has a, a, a pull cup that uh, allows you to uh, deploy that product uh, over a subwoofer. So we have a, a, a screw pull uh, termination here. Put the pole on, put the loudspeaker on top of it like we do here with the case. You can do the same thing with the AP5122M. Um, so with that said, uh, any questions about the AP5122? Or the AP line in general, I should say. Okay. Oops. I'm sorry, could... Yes, yes, you can. So, in, in fact, that's that's what we have here. Uh, we we have the horns on the inside. Um, I'll go through what, when we do this listening test. What I'm going to do is I'm I'm just going to go through, and we'll listen to uh, first the 10 inch, which is 105 degree axis symmetric. We'll step up to the 12, and then we'll go to the 15. Uh, we'll we'll do one pass, uh, and then after that pass, I'll add the subwoofers, which is the GP118 subwoofer. Um, and then I'll give you guys a little bit of a break. I'll put some music on and allow you guys to come up and stand in front of these like you would if you were on stage.